Welcome in everyone. This is our weekly flow alerts recap for the week of June 24th to June 28th, 2024. We have about 15 trades that were called out. We're going to go through them. We had a couple call cells and um, yeah, let's get started here. So first off, I'll obviously show everybody these. A lot of these are discord trades. So not all of these were public. A couple of these were publicly posted as free, but um, I'll show everybody the post in discord and then we're going to kind of go through the flow and show what looked why I posted it and all that stuff. So let's get started. So here's our Discord channel for the flow alerts. We have ask side, bid side, and ETF flow. So um first up on Monday we had GDDY for the 816150 call for a spot of 310 for 155k. You can see that on the flow how that came in here too. So I can see that lock showing us that it's an opening trade and just looking at that volume against the open interest math wise it's an opening trade. Now let's look at the flow here. So here and might be kind of out of order in here just with how they're posted but we'll cover all of them so GDDY so these were these came in on the 26th so three let's go seven days here so Here's your initial entry on the flow here. You can see that volume, again, average fill at 315 there. And kind of making a small move, and I'll pull up the contracts to so have the contract saved. So I'll give you the visual on unusual whales and the actual contract as well. So whale entering here. We did get some bid side stuff here in the afternoon, which... I told everybody you gotta always check open interest in the morning. So again, here's your volume on that day on 625. Majority of that carrying over, so my assumption would be they didn't close these intraday. They filled at the bid and they're carrying them over. And looking at that candle, so when this came in, again, you have your spot price increasing here. And spot kind of staying the same here, but did increase a little bit there at the end, which that was a good sized order there too. So again, IV increasing, bid ask increasing a bit there. And at the time, let me go back here, bump this back to the week. I'll do seven days here too, since I'm doing seven there. Again, you can see that net call premium spiking there. Majority of that asks side call or the call vo volume is up sorry it's a Saturday morning at 9 40 so um so yeah uh, for the most part last seven days premium staying pretty flat on here and then we just have that big spike in ask side calls more ask side calls here more ask side calls here that call volume is really spiked though on the 25th so something to watch there again always checking that volume and open interest is key so it looks like we might have had that whale come in again on Thursday here. So, but the, the our initial whale, so I'm going to also touch on the highest move of the week. So we're just doing the full range of the trade. So on our GDDY, those ran from 310 to 361. They did hit 361 on get it here because I have the full contracts here so here's our whale entry on the 25th over here you can see the timing 930 310 is hit 361 on the 27th that is a 34.38 percent gain or sorry I'm looking at the wrong one should not be doing these on Saturday morning so okay GDDY here we go I just have everything in a spreadsheet to make it a little easier. So GDDY, the 816, so 310 to 361, 16.45%. So first number, I when I, I said that, I was like, what is going on? So, okay, GDDY, 310 to 361, 16.45% move there. And again, that whale 
looks like they're still in. So probably looking for a bigger move. And these are 48 days out. So, so that was a good one. So moving on now. Next up we have Google. So, so we'll come in here. So here is our Google. I'm going to move this down a little. 75182 and a half calls at 221 for 155k. Here's how the alert came in and looked. Came in as an aggregated trade. So again, towards that ask there, spot price there, good premium, good size. Volume against the open interest. We can tell it's an opening trade by Let me pull this flow up here. So when this whale came in, this was their flow. We had a bunch of bid side flow earlier though. So typically I wouldn't call something out like this. This comes by reading flow a lot more, but at the 25th, we had a huge spike in net call premium. So this bid side one didn't really worry me as much, but here's your entry here at 9930. And let me pull this up again here. And I'm central time for those that might be newer to watching my videos. These came in at 922. And these only show a different premium too from the one that I'm posting because when you get out, I'll, I'll show you on the candle here. So 930, here's your candle. So when I come in here, I just, I save it. So like you can see that full trade here. And I usually just select one here highlight one bookmark it whatever you want to call it and then it just saves in the my trades area so it only selects that one little contract not that full brick of contracts so back to the google flow here sorry to go off on the tangent but here we are so again the flow and it might look a little different because at the time i might be able to take that off so again here is on 625 IV increasing drops a little bit here but still increasing for the most part here spot price kind of staying the same it dropped a little but again mixing that with the overall flow actually let me see if I can pull it up in the flow alert it might look a little better here we go so here we go so this is the alert so here's your IV percent IV increasing 2174 then up to 2190 spot price staying the same here and then shooting up a little bit towards the end of the trade so matches the criteria there for me and then again looking at the net premium at the time on the 25th big spike and what I, what I like to do too kind of is just I'll bump that net premium out. You can kind of see the last 40 and you can go all the way back to 30 days if you want. But again, looking at the 25th, big spike and just lots of spikes the last couple days and put premium staying pretty flat. So again, that's where kind of seeing a big candle like that, not going to throw me off if I can match it with other data points so and those Google put or calls and puts would have got torched so here we are here is their entry on 625 at 218 these touched 459 on the 27th that is a 107.69 percent gain so that was a very nice trade for anybody that took that piece of flow so moving on next, we have, get back to Discord here. So Intel, we had the 81626 puts, again, an opening trade here, aggregated trade. Good sizing here, pretty good premium here for Intel. And looking at the flow here, so Intel. So here's your entry. Again, very easy whale to follow. Just based on that, you can see the ask side volume there in the box. That's 4,500 and at the time, on the 25th, we only had 725 in open interest. So this is a clean opening trade. 
can see that volume carrying over and still holding. And the, at the time, again, pump this back. So 25th, spike in net put premium, big spike there too. So that's kind of odd there to watch. It actually looks like it's fallen since then. So um, it looks like we're having some more put premium rise in there too as well. But looking at the flow here. So here's your trader. Move this results per page up a little bit. See, hopefully it doesn't tweak out on me. Yeah, it's gonna tweak out on me. Let me delete that. Okay, hold on a second. Technical difficulties. Okay, here we go. So again, spot price here. Let's see how it looks. It stayed the same here which doesn't really throw me off, but then we do have seen some more come in after here with the spot or the IV percent rise in there. Spot price staying the same here for the most part. And again, matching that up with the net premium, IV and spot, and majority of this being ask side puts. Uh, let's look at the contract intel. So. Here's our whale entry, and again, it looks like that whale's still in just based off math. So here's your whale entry. You can see that spike here. They got filled at 30, not 29. So, and they did touch 34. So 30 to 34, again, you always have to look at percents. If you are looking at a dollar figure, you're going to say that's only $4 per contract. That's not a lot. That's a 13% gain on the contracts. 13% is a it's getting up there in a good significant trade and I did alert everybody that MU had earnings after hours on this day so my idea was to I was going to secure profits on this just in case Micron for some reason had a merger with Intel with my luck so these did run 30 to 34 this week so 13.33 percent and we are going to hit one of the other fun ones this week, Chewy. Chewy should be up next. So Chewy here. So we had Chewy calls on the 719, 37 and a half calls again, aggregated trade. A lot of size there coming in on this one. Big premium at the time. And looking at that flow. So on the 25th, and these came in at, what time was that again? 14.04. So here you go. Here is that whale entry right here. So you can see they entered here at 84. These did spike up to 446. Actually, they touched a little higher, I believe. Um, and this will only show when if there's a transaction at that price. So... These did run a lot higher. There just wasn't a transaction there. I'll show everybody here in a second. So again, looking at this, going back seven days, obviously, spike in net call premium. Huge spike in net call premium on that day as well. Spike in net call premium, spike in net call premium. Put premium staying relatively flat. And even bumping this one back 30 days, Look at all that net call premium coming in here. And look at how Chewy follows along with that. So a lot of ask side net call premium. Put premium staying flat. Not a lot of people on the puts. So good volume of calls as well. And looking at the flow that came in here. Let me bump this up. So again, here's your IV increasing, and I like to see it in a short period of time, so I'll usually kind of look at the trades below the one that's coming in. So again, this is just telling us it's a flow alert. So IV spiking here, coming up 110.54, 110.94, and you can see spot price 
kind of increases there. Obviously, they're hitting the ask. It's a wider spread on something like this. Staying at 84. Drops a little. Not a big deal. I'm just quickly looking at the flow alert also. IV staying the same there. That's why I kind of like looking at the overall flow as well and combining that. So you had the spot or the IV percent increasing the net call premium. Spot staying the same, not a huge deal. And these contracts coming over to Chewy. So here's your whale entry at 14.04 or whatever that was. So 85. These touched 708 for 742 percent, which obviously you're probably not going to exit at the top there, but still a very sizable bull return. Even if you just held that into the end of the day, that was 271. That's almost a 200 percent return there. So that is a very good trade on Chewy for the 25th, and we have one more for the 25th to cover. So which is a bid side play. So we had you put selling come in. So we had you bid side 16 puts. So this person was selling puts or writing puts. This is a bullish trade on the 719 16 puts. So good size, good premium and Look at, oh, I don't want that one yet. So you, so they essentially want these contracts to go to zero. Think of it like that. You are trying to collect that premium. So looking here, let me switch that. So kind of just looking at the overall net premium here and we're starting to see some net call premium come in here. So that looked good. And this, here's our whale, so 3,000 contracts there. And again, can see it's a opening trade, just based off that volume and open interest. So looking at the flow, when these came in, so you're, actually I'm going to pull it up on this because it's going to look a little better. So at the time, it's not going to, let's see if it shows it here. Okay, let's see, 719. It's not going to cooperate right now, but let's go back to the first one. So essentially, when it came up, because it's going to show, sometimes the flow will show the full thing when it came in, but because you can see we only have about a thousand contracts here, we're missing another two thousand. But at the time we had the IV decreasing and spot actually, I may have it in the alert section here. Hold on. So where is our U? I know I charted you out here. So, okay, here we go. Here's our break. So I also do breakdowns on the flow if they don't make an intraday move over 15%. So looking here, here's the flow that I was trying to find. You can see that IV decreasing as we go up. So that is a sign of selling. Spot price decreasing as well there. And that is because, so that's why it wasn't showing because it was two separate flow alerts that came in at the same time. I was confused why I couldn't find it so um so again IV decreasing there spot price decreasing and kind of just I, I'll typically pull up the charts too obviously you can kind of see we're really oversold there on volume kind of decreasing as well too so that one let's go back here so you so at the time there's the, all the contracts and again matching that up with the kind of net the ask side calls kind of coming in more than the puts I figured this was a sell and oh, I don't okay here we go 
So U, I had that up first. So again, when you're selling a call or a put, you want that to go to zero. So, and that person, you, the way I think of it is, they are, if you're bid side put, you're bullish to neutral on that ticker, stock, whatever one. If you are bid side calls, you are bearish to neutral. Theta is your friend when you're selling contracts, so they could care less if it moved sideways for three months. So be careful just getting calls or puts based on that just because they can chop and they're just trying to collect that premium. So Theta is their friend. So looking here, so here's your whale entry at 80. These contracts hit a low of 55. They collected about 32% of that premium there. So it would be technically a 32% collection of that premium. So think of that as a 30% return. So that was you. And moving on here, and we have an interesting one up next with TSM. So TSM is next. Get out of this. Get out of this. So TSM was a ask side. So, so we had big trade come in. 2,000 contracts for 961,000 at a pretty high spot price there. And again, this was on the 712-175 TSM call. So this is what made this one really interesting to me. When these came in, it was just the whole, it was just all ask side volume. Less than a minute later, a bunch of bid side volume came in. So to me, that makes me more cautious because I'm like, oh man, okay, we had some bid side volume come in. And looking at it though, so here is the ask side when we came in. So ask side volume looked good when it came in. You have a big, you have a jump in IV there. Your spot price is pretty much staying the same, kind of dropping a little bit there but still staying on that ask side which you can see that's dropping the IV there so again the IV still increasing good premium all ask side here and then we had some more come in after that 4120 little spike there as well jump in the spot price little drop in IV but not a lot of volume coming in there and then we see another sizable trade on the bid side there but we did have a spike or a uh, drop in IV there and then coming in again we had some mid side flow and again IV increasing here spot price increasing so to me this is a bullish trade but with the bid side volume you have to be careful because you don't know what's going on in there and then you still have some more coming here. Then you had a big one coming here, 41.16. Again, IV increases when they come in. Spot at the bid there. So that's another part there. And you also have this one here too. So drop an IV. So I did put a note out to everybody that we had some weird bid side stuff coming in here. And it was just really odd based off that size. And I figured maybe they were just closing it right away I hard to tell until you obviously check the open interest the next day so looking at that let me go back to the open interest so that was the candle but combining that with the net premiums at the time we stayed pretty flat and this was on the 26th when it came in so we were pretty flat which kinda threw it off threw me off a little bit too So where were we? TSM. Um, so these calls actually did profit. Oh, I was going to show in here. So 26th. So we had 11,000 total in volume. So this whale did swing these contracts. It was just really 
weird so you can see that carry over here looks like that whale's still in too and then this is Friday's net premium so all ask side calls and this whale did actually profit so if you did get in this still profited these um hit a high of looks like six um, I'll pull it up here again so my TSM calls so here's your entry on the 26th 480 they hit 645 so 34% that's kind of an odd trade that I wanted to show there just because something comes in at the ask side or bid side also does not mean it's a sell or a buy you have to dig into the flow looking at the IV the spot helps paint a, paint a picture looking at the net premium paints a picture so just some stuff there to keep in mind so the trade did end up working but did have all that weird flow coming right after so but we chalk it up as a win so moving on now we have par and this was a longer one so the 11755 call so 117 205 days out and these longer days to expiration ones sometimes are a little harder to do a review on just because there's so much time on these but still like to do a weekly review on them so so moving here we um and I'm running out of time I'm already recording here so we might be doing two videos um so 117.55 call 244 premium spot yes I do not have a good video editing service or anything for YouTube so if you let me know if you got a good suggestion let me know and I can get a good video app um, where were we par so again a little weirder one entry 325 they hit 399 uh, 410 I believe was the was the high of the week I don't have we're gonna just say 399 there 410 so about 25 percent we'll say 20 25 percent just with the weird with the weird spreads there we had some so then wolf oh we had spy puts come in too as well so IWM call spy puts I'm just gonna quickly show here I got two minutes left we're gonna power through this so spy looks like here's your whale entry looks like we're getting some more bid and ask side volume here these haven't made a big move yet our IWM our IWM play from there did make a move. Here's your whale entry 360, 549, 618, I believe they hit. So 96% on those. Wolf, one hat. This one hasn't made a move yet. Here's your entry sitting about break even. FXI, another one. Here's your entry. All that volume carrying over again some bid side stuff they probably got filled with the bid so FXI CCL made a decent move so here's your whale entry again having some weird bid side come in here coming in down here quick got one minute to go we're gonna power through this thing quick so again 404 IV increasing spot about staying the same spot increasing there they just had good earnings too so that helps spikes in net call premium and our last one is DraftKings so DraftKings kind of another odd one because there's a lot of flow coming in here a lot of ask side flow these did make an intraday move from 350 to 397 13% um, yeah so and we actually had one more here too as well another longer term one 117 HPE call again call selling here just looking here quick so again IV decreasing here 
and your spot price kind of staying the same. So hope everybody enjoyed. Have a great weekend.